Audiobooks on Apple Books gives you the freedom to listen to that one story you really want. Subscription-free, any genre, any time, at your own pace. Explore the new collection of $9.99 audiobooks on Apple Books and listen now on the Apple Books app. Cute Code, Wood Elf, and Mythical present Ronstadt, starring Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal. Created by Jonathan Straley and Brandon Bestenheider. Episode 6, Freaks Come Out at Night. Hello listeners. Be advised this show uses immersive audio. It may seem like sounds are coming from around or behind you. Please use caution when operating a motor vehicle. The following episode contains depictions of sexual situations and violence that may be triggering for some audiences. Listener discretion is advised. Don't you just love a good dream? Roller skating with Aretha Franklin, inventing a new kind of curly fry. I've had some doozies. Then there's this dream. Like one of Monty's Polynesian cocktails come to life. A Technicolor Tiki extravaganza. A luau on the beach. Aloha, Ronstadt. Hula girls, fire eaters, dancers in masks, and Faye. <laughs> Dance with me, lover boy. She wears a grass skirt. And I'm in a tropical print shirt covered in big yellow bananas. That's the giveaway this is a dream. I wouldn't be caught decapitated in that. Ronstadt, have another Mai Tai. Don't mind if I do. What's cool? This is one of those dreams where you know you're in a dream. So you can bend the rules. Cut loose. I'm breakdancing in the sand. I do a backflip over the bonfire. Nice moves, Bronstad. What's even cooler? I know that the real life waiting for me when I wake up is even more unbelievable. Because Faye and I hooked up. So please excuse me as I give myself over to this dream. You ever hear an electric ukulele? Boys, plug me in, would you? You got it. Wait. What's going on? You blow! Um. Oh shit. My dream is turning into a... Nightmare! The Kahlua pig in the roasting pit comes alive. Charging right for us. Kahlua girls knock us around with whiplash hips. Watch it, sister. The masked dancers stab us with giant cocktail umbrellas. Ow! Hey! That shit is sharp! The entire luau closes in around us. I'm out of here. Faye runs for it, dives into the ocean. I lose sight of her in the surf. Stick him in the fire pit. No. No. Let go of me. Help! No! Faye! Faye! Oh boy. Hold it. The bed is empty. Where is she? Hello? Faye? Faye? Okay, that nightmare, I want to forget. But what came before? <laughs> Your belt won't. Your bra won't either. I want to remember that. 
Vey? My apartment's barely big enough for a family of ferrets, so it takes me about three seconds to discover she's already split. Must have had an early meeting with her editor at the Weekly Whisperer or something. I give her a buzz. So you wanna talk to Faye, but right now there's no way. So you wanna talk to Faye, but right now there's no way. No way! Voicemail. Bummer. Maybe she left a note on the door. A note on the door. Note. Damn. I suddenly remember a note I saw on the break room door. Mandatory meeting, Thursday. All night shift dispatchers must attend. This morning, right? 11 o'clock? Which pair of boots? They're all black, man. Just pick one. Hattie wants me hide until she returns, but I can't lose the gig. Wait a minute. If I go out this door, I don't know if I'm being watched or followed or... So become someone else. Like a disguise? Not bad, Headvox. Oh, and thanks for not, uh, interrupting last night. Uh, don't mention it. Like ever again. I've got a security blanket. Hattie's jam fixer elixir stashed in my pocket. My disguise is an old baseball cap I snagged from Gus's garage. Between the hat and my trusty shades, I'm practically invisible. Hey, Ronstadt, looking good. What's that hat say? Get a room? How's about get a life? Boing! <laughs> uh, so much for that. I ditched the cap. Knee slapper? Uh, I'm kind of in a... Yeah, I know. You're kind of in a hurry to do a whole bunch of nothing. Way off to this time. You got a date with that witch again? Who? Hattie? Didn't know her name, but I've seen it together. I can always spot a witch. How do you think I found my ex-wife? Boing! <laughs> Beware of magic users, Ronstadt. Witches in particular. Hattie's good people. Even the sweetest of Halloween candy can have a razor blade inside, eh? And folks with power always want more. Usually, they'll do anything to get it. Stick with ghosts and geists, Ronstadt. Kind of people you can trust. You mean your kind? You said it, pal. <laughs> Knee Slapper doesn't know I've been messing with magic, too. But he sent me spinning. Should I be worried about the path I'm on? Should I be sketched about Hattie? Should this train be going faster? Are you having trouble breathing? I'm 20 minutes late for Tool's be there or be fired meeting. I hustle through the dispatch area. Hey, hey, I think that guy's Ronstadt. And race for the break room. Sorry, I'm... And it's... Empty. Bunch of chairs set up. Nice neat packets of info with everybody's names on them. Don't see mine. Ronstadt! What the hell are you doing here? I'm here for the meeting. Yeah? Well, it's not for another 40 minutes, and it's not for you! Was there an email in your inbox? Um... No. Exactly. Legitimate staff only. Hit the bricks. And don't take a donut! That sucked. Add some anger to my anxiety. And I still haven't heard back from Faye. Headvox, text Faye. That is not quite how I work. Uh, worth a try. I'll do it. The hula shaker just opened, and I'm the first one in. Maybe this isn't the slickest move, but the subway was packed to the gills. Might as well take the edge off with a cocktail or two. You know, I won't stop you right now. Monty's got the afternoon off, but the substitute tender makes a pretty ruthless Mai Tai herself. I order four. Four Mai Tais. For one guy. And slink to the back booth. I can watch the door from here. Shadows won't be out until dark, but I'm guessing wicked wizards come in all shapes and sizes. Now, this is how you lay low. Hmm. A man dressed all in black enters. We haven't seen him in here before. Did he just glare at me? The man takes a seat at the bar. Why does he have to look so much like Dracula? Nerves are flying. Better order another round. Excuse me. Hey, 
Hey, sweet luau. Wait, this is my dream. Oh, a recurring dream. Aloha, monster. Aloha, hula girls. What do you say we keep it sunny this go around? <laughs> hey, there's Faye. Wait, don't swim away. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Bonnie, um, what am I doing? Blacking out in my bar. It's a first for you. I'm just taking the edge off. What's in your pocket? On set, you're carrying a flask now? That's um, a magic potion. Look, your tab is out of control. And you're not far behind. Get it together. I could have drowned in all that spilled rum. Lucky that man over there flagged me down. What man? By the jukebox. She points to the man in black. Dracula? Dracula? That man's a priest or something. Fine, Monty. I've got concerns, okay? Pressures you wouldn't even believe. I'll leave. Find myself a new watering hole. Not the only joint in town. Back on the street, I'm hit with a sobering sight. What? It's nighttime, my friend. I noticed. Must have been passed out in there for hours. I stagger six or seven blocks when... What is that? I was about to ask you. I'm looking down an alleyway at a door, but it's just hovering. The door has no knob or handle, but there's a marking on it. The silhouette of an elongated figure with diamond-shaped eyes. I run my hand over the design. The figure turns ink black. I feel myself moving through the door without ever deciding to. And a second later, I arrive here. I've landed in what could only be a side B nightclub. See, Money? Maybe I found my new haunt. It's sleek, upscale, packed with people dressed to kill. Did I say people? Cool ears. I said, you've got cool ears. You can't hear you, man. Yep, okay. Partying in this circus tent is the extreme opposite of laying low. On the other hand, I don't want to seem suspicious. Excuse me. Better hang for a few. So I said, you're not being paranoid, darling. I really do have eyes in the back of my head. I suggest you try the kitten souls. They're marvelous. When I queue up at the bar... Uh, what are you drinking? Hi, I'll take a large water. Really? A water? I'm elbowed aside by a goat-like beast with bushy fur and horns the size of traffic cones. Cute. Put him on gas. No. My bad. Didn't mean to get here before you. Never seen a thunderstruck before, have you? I turn to face a smoky-eyed woman holding a fizzy drink that has something swimming through it. Yeah, I've heard the song. ACDC Jam. <laughs> Not thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. They say there's only three of them left in the entire world. The sultry vixen introduces herself as Lorna Van, a movie starlet from the 40s. Back in the day, I was something. Now I'm something else. She asks if I want to share a cocktail. I'm about to tell her my heart belongs to a certain drummer when all eyes turn to the door. Good evening, sir. Into the club rolls a figure dripping power, influence, danger. The chiseled, well-dressed man moves with purpose, flanked by a crew of flunkies. Who's the alpha asshat? Oh, he owns this gin joint. And you should watch your tongue. That is Kenna Lash. Shit. Managed to put myself within spitting distance of the Shadow Master. Number one on my list of evil wizard wangs to steer clear of. Sorry, Miss Van. I just remembered there's like 17 other places I'm supposed to be. I keep my head down and push for the door wading through the exotic crowd, trying to stay lost in it. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Come through. Where are you running to? 
running. So pleased you're here. Wouldn't dream of letting you leave just yet, Mr. Ronstadt, isn't it? Ronstadt. Sounds like an idiot. Looks like one, too. What do you want us to do with him, Mr. Lash? Bring him back to my booth, Zamora. So we can talk. Talk. Come on, haircut. You know what his hair looks like? Electrified linguini? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> so, Ronstadt. I must admit seeing you in the flesh is a severe disappointment. How could a scrawny hipster turd like you manage to cut down one of my Shadowmancers? Ronstadt. I want to hang you above the dance floor by that $2 necktie. Ronstadt. You picked a fight with the wrong mage. My desire to punish you, to cause you pain, to pulverize you. What? What are you doing? He's taking your drink, sir. Now that's ballsy. Ha! You missed his own mouth! I think this guy's got brain damage or something. What's that? Enough of this What's shit. That? I want to know who you are What's that? and what you... What the hell? What is this? Our new friend appears to be deflating. Like a leaky balloon. This goddamn thing isn't him. The real Ronstadt is still out there. Find him! Hello listeners, Jack here again from the Q-Code production team one last time to tell you about our friends at Grubhub. With Grubhub, you can get the food you love fast. You love driving around in your car and bumping Ronstadt? You can listen on your way to the restaurant and pick up your food, ordered flawlessly from Grubhub. You love sitting in your living room and listening to Ronstadt from the comfort of your own home? You can order from the Grubhub app and have your favorites delivered. Think about all the hamburgers you can get and don't have to move a muscle. No grilling, let the professionals do it. This year, Grubhub has made it their mission to work with your local restaurants and make sure to protect their reputation because they know how important it is to protect the restaurants you love. Grubhub is here to serve restaurants and connect you to all the burgers, linguinis, sushi, and everything in between. Yes, even smoothies. Yes, even salads. You name it, they've got it. So I say this to you once more. The time is now. Download the Grubhub app or order through Grubhub online now. Grubhub. We serve restaurants. For all the mystery lovers, fantasy aficionados, and horror experts out there, no matter what story it is you're looking for, you can listen to the one you really want, subscription-free with audiobooks on Apple Books. From that one memoir that helps you find yourself, to that thriller you can't help but get lost in. Enjoy any genre, anytime, at your own pace. Explore the new collection of $9.99 audiobooks on Apple Books. And listen now on the Apple Books app. Surviving high school unscathed is never easy. But what if your school is in Hawkins, Indiana? What do you think happened to him? I don't know. Netflix presents Surviving Hawkins, the first Stranger Things fiction podcast. Even small towns have their teeth. The Hawkins monster. Starring Maya Hawk as Robin Buckley and Sean Maher as Mr. Hauser. Written and directed by Lauren Shippen. You think you know Hawkins, but there's been another monster this whole time. Rebel Robin, Surviving Hawkins. Listen now, wherever you get your podcasts. Man, that was bonkers. Hattie's potion was a lifesaver, the elixir. Soon as I saw Kenner and his trash closing in, I chugged a few swigs and burped up a carbon copy of myself before slipping out the door. He seemed a bit simple, even so, it appears Konstat was able to trick Lash. Two Ronstats are better than one! Wouldn't go that far. Speaking of trick, when I tumbled from Lash's club, I found myself on the Sunset Strip, half a city away from where I entered. Can only assume a place like that doesn't stay parked in any one spot for too long. The whole joint must be soaked in magic. <laughs> 911, what is your emergency? Could use a friendly face right now. I cut over to Vez's cubicle, but there's someone with more body and less hair sitting there. You're not Estevez. No. No, I I'm new. I, I, I am Todd. 
I am Ronstadt. T technically, it's Todd, uh, because there's two Ds. It's up to you, though. Okay. Oh, you're the guy who, who works in the elevator. It must be so much fun going up and down all day. Actually, it's broken. It doesn't work. Still, it sounds wonderful. Have you noticed all these cubicles are exactly the same? It's such a shame. Well, play your cards right and rub the boss wrong enough times. Maybe we can get you working out of stall number two in the men's room. Or even up on the roof. Oh. You really think so? I, I don't want to get my hopes up. Nice talking to you, Todd. You know what? I, I think I hear Vez. Sit tight, ma'am. Help is on the way. Vez, what are you doing over here? And what's that sound? Shit. Is that me? No, it's my stomach. Tool's giving me a flare-up. <sighs> He's on a warpath, bro. He moved my workstation before I showed up tonight. He doesn't want us fraternizing. He's pissed. Isn't he always? Whoa. Heads up. He's super pissed. I walk into my office. Lights are out, but there's a silhouette at my desk. <clears throat> Your lamp's not working. Tool. Yeah, uh, the bulb blew out last night. So you've just been working in the dark? I do some of my best work in the dark. You want to get reported to human resources? <sighs> okay, so why am I here? Well, the other night when I agreed to send the authorities to your caller with the, uh, uh, what was it? Oh yes, a spirit attempting to leave a body? It's trying to escape! Well, no surprise, it was total bullshit! Just read the brief. The officers found the two women tanked on Chardonnay, reenacting scenes from that old sitcom, the, uh, uh, Get In Here or something. Get a room. What? The show was called Get a Room. Get a room. Who gives a shit? That is the last time you get any sort of backup. The last time I sent any emergency services to check on one of your bullshit calls. Just answer the phone, make these kooks feel like the city listened to them, hang up, and move on. Am I clear? Clear as Sprite. Get that damn bulb replaced. First hour of my shift is quiet. The cleaning crew is seeing more action than me. How does Faye do this? Faye. Can't believe I haven't heard from her. I consider calling her again, but Barbie has other plans. I grab pink plastic. I know the voice. I need help. Please. It's Kimmy. Little girl who introduced me to the shadows. This is not good, Rena. It's back. The shadow monster is back. That's all I need to hear. You never saw an ass leave a chair like mine just did. I can't send Kimmy help, but I can send myself. Fez, cover for me? Gotta make a house call. No way. For like something supernatural? Take me with you. The new guy can cover. Todd? Vez, look at Todd. What brand of rat poison was it? Okay, then you're fine. He's not ready. You're right, I got you. Yo! I hail a car. Not a cab, not a ride share. Just wave down a dude, show him a wad of cash. I got 53 bucks. He starts driving like it's the last lap of the Long Beach Grand Prix. Guess we have a deal. I'm in front of Kimmy's house in a matter of minutes. Dark, quiet. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Just ring the doorbell. Nope. Ah. One kick. Always wanted to do that. Um, to my surprise, I find a middle-aged woman vaping and watching TV on the couch. Who the hell are you? I'm, I'm friends with Kimmy. Wait, that, that didn't sound right. Frickin' creep! Get the hell out of here! Ugh. Kimmy's mom punches me so hard I fly out of my boots. God damn! Shit, lady! I had no idea that was possible. Uh, 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 even your socks suck. Uh, uh, it occurs uh, to me that Kimmy's uh, mom was not uh, a playable uh, character uh, in Mortal uh, Kombat. Uh, nice! Uh, your 
stronger than you look. Ugh. Seems like a missed opportunity. Your hair is ridiculous. I'm calling the cops, you son of a bitch. Please do. I pick myself up when I hear. Hey, up here. Second floor window, brother. Girl, must be Kimmy. Hmm, in a room above the garage. Are you the man from the phone? That's me, kid. It's here, the shadow. My mom doesn't believe me. She doesn't take me seriously. I don't think she takes me seriously either. I'm not making up monster stories. Close your window. Stay in the light. No time to wait for the cops, if mom even called them. Need a diversion, loud and bright. I hit the backyard, take inventory. Tire swing, lawn chairs. The grill, man. On it, I yank the propane tank free. Use my skinny $2 tie for a fuse. And just my luck. Hell yes. Got a matchbook from the hula shaker in my pocket. More spot to it, us, my friend. The shadow blitzes right for me. Time to wake the neighborhood. Ow. Tank blows early. I go flying one way, Gosh. the vile lurk goes the other. See a swimming pool below. Hope I land in. Oh, it's empty, man. What? Oh. Damn it! Oh. Ah. The shadow. Blast took off its hand. It retreats. My head is rocked. Now if I can just locate a drum kit, maybe it'll turn out I can play like Faye. What the hell are you doing back there? Get out of here! Sorry, neighbor. I look back and catch a glimpse of Kimmy's face pressed in the window. Still looks scared. She's pointing wildly at me. Oh. I'm on fire. Sprinklers, hot damn. I shoot Kimmy a wave, and dressed in about half the clothes I had on when I got here, I disappear down the block. My first house call in the books. Next morning, I'm having a real party pulling off my burnt clothes. Ugh. Hate to put my underwear on repeat, but I'm not sure these are coming loose. One, two. Ah! I've got an evil warlock after me, third degree burns, this marvelous noise between my ears. But my biggest problem is Faye. You have no new messages from Faye. Faye's not home, so I head here. The library, her unofficial office. First three floors are clear. I reach the top of the escalator. There you go. Pink blazer, typing away in the computer lab. Faye. What are you doing here? L looking for you. I, I haven't heard from you. I called. I even texted. Is everything okay? Is this a serious question? What are you, what are you doing? Leaving. Please don't follow me. Faye! Shh. You shh! Faye! Ugh. Please. I don't know what's wrong. What's this about? Everything was awesome. I mean, we spent the night together. Spent the night together? Have you lost your mind? You were screaming at me. Y you don't remember that? It was so awful and just... Get away from me! It barely sounded like you, but you were in my face looking right into my eyes. No. Yes. Faye. Ronstadt, you scare me. That's the second time I've heard that. I, I think you're not well. You're s sick. I, I don't know, schizophrenic? I feel for you, but I... I can't deal with this. Please, please let me show you something. Give me two minutes. Okay, one minute. I lead Faye under a stairwell. 
There, in the darkness, I recite the lines. Uhu, Zabavahu. I cast the spell, Sparkle Party. It's different this time, not the firestorm I conjured out in the desert. What is this? It's... magic. <laughs> I... I don't believe it. I... I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. I... Faith! The evidence is beginning to stack. I am a monster. I am Rodstaff! I walk, aimlessly, barely feel my feet touch pavement. Head Fox doesn't even bother chiming in to try and keep me in one piece. You get yourself killed! Then, I realize... Who are you? Why are you here? Leave me alone! I've done this before. Attacked with words. Verbal missiles launched at friends, potential lovers. It's not me. It's in me, like the glowing eyes and the hot light from my hands. A relationship slaughtering defense system meant to push people away, keep me alone. I'm not at the wheel. I don't call the shots. I suffer the consequences. I don't need anyone. into bed, Mr. Lash. Call me Kenner. All of you. Kenner. What? What is this? You are floating, Kenner. No. Are you doing this? No. Regrettably, I am not. Seems I am about to receive an unscheduled business call. Unfortunately, my associate takes shape by manipulating whatever objects might be lying around. In this case, the three of you. Shadowmaster. Head, was that necessary? You have displeased us. Our confidence in you is waning. I don't know what you mean. We know of your recent setbacks. One of your Shadowmancers has been destroyed. Another named. We have also gained word of the young stranger who slipped through your fingers. Perhaps the time has come to terminate our contract with Shadowmancers and appoint no rock to take over. No. No? I've never failed to see a mission through to its end or to deliver on my promises. And I promise you, these setbacks will not undermine our progress. I've summoned additional Shadowmancers to bolster our ranks. As for the stranger, this Ronstadt, I'll make sure his blood-stained bones are in your hands soon enough. Placating words. We certainly count. And Shadowmaster, so long as your obligations remain unfulfilled, don't let us catch you engaged in such frivolous activities. Zamora. Yes, Mr. Lash. Bring a mop. Ronstadt stars Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal, with Holly Jade, Clay Bennett, Mark DiCarlo, Stevie Wynn-Levine, Tobias Jelinek, 
Jonathan Medina, Michael Cienfuegos, Elizabeth Caro, Carly Rothenberg, Jonathan Straley, Jeffrey Kennedy, Sarah Rodenbaugh, Adam MacArthur, Richard Epcar, Reba Burr, Raul Ceballos, Brandon Parbs, and Christina Klieb. Created by Jonathan Straley and Brandon Bestenheider. Written directed by Jonathan Straley and Brandon Bestenheider. Executive produced by Rhett McLaughlin, Link Neal, Stevie Wynn Levine, Mallory Schwartz, Rob Herding, and David Henning. Co executive producers Chris Ferguson and Andrew Levine. Produced by Alexa Gabrielle Ramirez and Marlena Ma. Co producers Jacob Moncrief and Michelle Zarati. Associate producer Jenna Purdy. Supervising producers Sandra Yi Ling and Shin Yin He Yu. Original music and composition by Mike McGinnis. Q Code Head of Music, Darren Johnson. Q Code Head of Mixing, Ben Milchev. Audio Engineering by Ryan Walsh, Ben Milchev, and Neely Oftering. Sound Design by Umberto Corte. Sound Mix by Eugenio Battaglia. Casting by Sunday Bowling and Meg Mormon. Assistant Director, Kelsey Adams. Script Supervisor, Liam Hooper. Welfare Worker, Valerie Pritzlaff. Assistant Engineering by Beatrice Noronha. Additional editing by Matt Smalley. Dialogue editing by Andrea Velarde. Sound effects editing by Christophe Classe and Alex Lara Peralta. Production coordinators, Brandon Weisner and Anna Basha Yokum. Post coordinator, Rachel Yanover. Production assistants, Nathan Yan, Bailey Grayson, and Jillian Avenas. Production legal, Christina Bulbrook and Lindsay Keel. Production accounting, Pin Chen Liu. Produced in association with Odd Fellows Post. Ronstadt is a Q-Code, Wood Elf, and Mythical Production.